Today's video is all about making shelves with 3D printing and salvage wood. Hey guys, oftentimes when I'm working on projects, it's alongside of client jobs and orders that I have to fulfill, but sometimes I just need a break. So I have a special reading area and today we're gonna to focus on adding some shelves to this area. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to create an easy and functional way to install shelves on a wall to display special items or nifty things that will be conversation piece or things you would like to showcase in a living room or a common area. So recently I picked up over in my gaming channel a viewfinder and I will put the inventor of the viewfinder right here. This thing brings so many childhood memories. I definitely wanted to showcase this and also my Sterling engines. And if you haven't seen my video on how these work, click on the link above. This will explain everything about how to create electricity or power with something like this. So without further ado, I'm not gonna talk your head off. We're gonna get into what's involved in the video and we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Okay, for this project, what you're actually going to need is measuring tools such as your tape measure, a ruler, and a speed square. You're going to need a mallet to hammer in your wall anchors. Also, you're going to need some screws. You're going to need a stud finder, okay, if you want to accurately find your studs or electrical in the wall. I recommend a power drill, but if you don't want to deal with charging or automatic tools, I recommend at least you get something like this, which is a ratcheting screwdriver versus the regular plain one all right and these are all the tools that you'll need to do this installation today let's go ahead and get into the next step okay so this is the area we're going to be installing the shelves at so we're going to do two one i've already prepped with the 3d printed brackets and the pallet wood stained a dark mahogany now the next one we're going to make right after we install this one first thing you want to do is look for the studs in the wall the old school method is knock on the wall. So when you hear the high pitch, that's when you're gonna run into a stud. Let's see if we can see where the sound changes. Now when you hear it go deeper, that's when you hit a shallow part of the wall where there's no stud. But when you hear that pitch go back up again, then you know you're in the vicinity of a stud. Let's get the stud finder and see if we can prove that out. By the way, for this installation and project, I'm gonna have all the tools in the description below. We're gonna use this stud finder and let's start at the edge first where we know there's a stud. So you wanna squeeze and you wanna start off squeezing the trigger, okay? And when you squeeze the trigger, it's gonna start you off. Now, if this lights up, that means you're hitting electrical. But once you get closer and closer to the edge of the stud, then it beeps and lets you know where the stud is. So let's try it. All right, that's our edge, okay? Now, let's see if we can find another. Ah, that's our edge, right where the pitch got high. Let's try it again. So this is our edge where the pitch got high. Just like I said, higher pitch okay let's see if we can find the other side of the stud and there it is so in between these two lines is where the stud is right here so let's try again to find another stud and there we go there's an edge of a stud over here now let's see if we can get the opposite side of that stud and there it is so that's where your stud is so we got three one right here one right here and one right here. All right, let's go ahead and get this shelf installed. All right, so in my main area, I want to display some items that I think are very unique, interesting, and conversation pieces, such as this Viewmaster right here. And I wanted to make a couple shelves in this area to go ahead and display those items. So what we're gonna do today, we're going to make from scratch our shelves and brackets. We're also going to install them. That way you save that trip to Ikea. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so let's talk about the first shelf first. I had pulled this piece of pallet wood off of an old pallet years ago and stained it. Also painted the bottom black 
so it's nice and even. Um, but I never got to installing it. So this is the first shelf we're going to do. So what we got to do is flip it on the bottom and install our brackets. Okay, just like this. Now what we could do is go on the wall and find the stud 16 inch on center and then attach it to this. So I might do that off camera first, get the uh, spacing correct, and then come back and then install them. Okay guys, I can already tell this is nice and sturdy, okay? So now I have a place to put my little knickknacks here. So we're gonna decorate that in a second. Now let's get into building the second shelf. Guys, the 3D printed brackets are holding up nice and sturdy and great. And they didn't take long at all to print. So if you need to display some things on a shelf, this is perfect. So. Put a picture of my sister there. Recently it was her birthday. I know she passed and everything. My sister's birthday had just passed. She recently passed away last year and the 31st of January was her birthday. So gotta put her on the shelf. But let's go ahead and go on to the next shelf. We're gonna build the wood part first. And then I'm gonna show you how I made, designed, and how we can 3D print the brackets. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so we're back in the garage. I noticed that I really don't need a too wide or too deep uh, shelf. So just for the aesthetics and what I'm going for, I'm going to use this piece of wood. I like the weathered look to it. And what we're going to do is just take a five inch thick strip using the circular saw and that should be enough. I was going to break out the table saw, but for something like this, you don't really need it. And then I'll finish up the width, which will be anywhere between 12 and 13 inches. I might go 13 on the miter saw. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, here you wanna make sure you set your circular saw to the right length. Make sure you clamp your wood piece down. Keep in mind that all power tools are very dangerous, so you wanna wear safety gear and make sure you're cutting your pieces carefully. Okay, now I've got my cut made here. So all I gotta do now is take it to the miter saw and chop off what I want. I'm gonna mark it first with the tape measure, get that speed square, make my mark, and then I'll tighten up the edges with the router. Okay, here I'm just marking the ends of the shelf where I want them to stop at. Okay guys, so there's one unfortunate thing that I found out about this piece of wood. It's actually a piece of uh, chipboard or compressed board and it has like a laminate on the outside. So therefore I can't really use my router to add any edges or bevels. Um, I do have edge banding to finish up this side, but I'm just thinking I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to paint it, stain it, nothing like that. And we're just going to get the brackets on there and uh install it on the wall so let me show you how i designed and made these brackets and 3d printed them and then we'll get this uh shelf installed on the wall let's check out a speed roll of the 3d print right here what i wanted to demonstrate here is this is the actual design of the bracket and I can show quickly how you can make something like this. Basically, 
you could just use a cube, extrude both sides, and um, add a hole on the inside for your screw holes. But this is the basic uh, bracket that I made for the shelves, and you can find this at clolearnshop.com. If you want to download the file to print, or if you would like to purchase a set, visit clolearnshop.com, and you can find them there. Okay, so the easiest way to demonstrate this is to start off with a basic cube like this. You're going to select the cube, hit tab. Now, over here, you can select vertices, edge, or face. You're going to select the face. You're going to choose a face, okay? You're going to hit the letter E to extrude it. Now, I'm just going to bring it out and also hit G and bring it out on the x-axis. So I'm going to grab the top now and also hit E and go up. Now I'm going to zoom out and you can already tell that this is kind of forming the shape of that L bracket. So you might be wondering, well, how do I get that smooth edge in there? Select the edge tool, hit control B and all my keystrokes are listed here. You're going to choose that angle and roll the mouse wheel. That allows you that smooth curve to rotate through. Also, if you want the ends of your bracket to taper or come down, you can always adjust the edge by selecting the edge and I'll zoom in so you can see it and then I'm going to move it G on the x-axis and taper it I'm also going to bring this uh, other edge out and that gives me that smooth angle and so I'm just going to repeat the same thing over here grab this edge move it along the x-axis and also I'm going to bring this down on the z-axis and right away you can already tell that we're forming that bracket okay now there's other ways you can access and move this around you can actually choose your arrows and grab them from the arrows if you're more used to that uh, but it all depends on what you want to do so this is as simple as it is to make your L bracket for your shelf once you've 3D printed your brackets you want to go ahead and secure them to your newly cut piece of wood and it's just a matter of installing them on the wall at that point. Okay, this is the area where the second shelf is going to go. One thing you want to be wary about is electrical, okay? So you already know in between the studs, you're going to find that this electrical is running up somewhere and more than likely is attached to one of the studs. So use your stud finder to find that electrical and do not screw in it. So I'm going to find a spot that I like. I want to set this one kind of a bit lower, right above the switch box right here. And I think I like this area over here. So I'm going to tack it here. First, I'm going to find my electrical, tack it, and then get it done. All right. Okay, notice how this light came on. That's letting us know that there is electrical right there. Let's see if there's electrical on the other side. Okay, no electrical on the other side. Let's see if we got electrical up here. Yes, we do have electrical up here. Seems like we have more electrical in this area. So we have to be really careful not to attach the electrical. I think it's safe to say we can attach to the edge and then go on the opposite side of that. As I said before, same trick. One side is screwed in while we sit there and level the other side. And that's level. And in this case, we do not have a stud to land on. So what I'm going to do is mark that right there. We're going to set a drill through it and put an anchor there. Okay, so we've got a bit here that is comparable to the size of our anchor. So we're going to drill a hole in the wall. We're going to tap this anchor in here and then we're going to screw a screw in there to hold our shelf in place.
Okay, so in today's video, we learned how to install shelves and also make these shelves from scratch. We learned how to 3D print the brackets, also to cut the wood that goes to be screwed into the brackets that's uh, tied into the wall. We also learned how to find the studs in the wall, the old school method by knocking and listening for the sound, but we also use a stud finder in order to find electrical and also the studs in the wall. I wanted this video to be easy and informative. Also, if it's your first time installing anchors in the wall, I wanted to show an easy way to install those anchors so that way you can install shelves anywhere you would like on the wall. Also, I wanted to make a simple way to uh, design shelf brackets that you can do in Blender and also 3D print them on your printer and that saves you a trip from going to the dollar store or going to a place like Ikea to pick up some shelves. You can make them from uh, reclaimed wood and 3D printing your brackets at home. Guys, if you learned something or enjoyed this video, please go down to the description in this video below and support the CLO Academy. We are taking donations on GoFundMe in order to support the building of the Learning Center, where we're going to learn things like recycling, engineering and manufacturing, graphics design, and things like this. So if you can, go down to the link, support, any amount is definitely appreciated. Definitely check us out in the next video, and we're always appreciative of you coming by and stopping by to watch us. So let me know in the comments if this is your first time installing shelves or if you've ever been afraid to screw into the wall because you don't want to hit electrical or you don't know how to anchor a shelf so it's nice and sturdy without finding studs. If you would like to find a 3D print file for these brackets or if you would like to actually purchase a set of brackets, you can go to clolearnshop.com and the link will be in the description below. Soon I would like to make a video to where these actual shelves are not made out of wood but actually um, old recycle plastic that's melted down and pressed in into a press to make a flat board of plastic. I'm always thankful to see you here. So guys, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.